That is crazy, guys. Welcome back to Incredible Science, everybody. It is pouring outside. It is raining. It's a washout. And that made me think, what experiments can you do on a rainy day that involves rain, it involves wetness, it involves the weather? So I came up with four really cool science experiments. Some you may have seen, some you haven't, but I guarantee you this one, you have not seen what happens to this because it shocked me. Haven't seen it in any other video and it's really, really cool to see what happens. So four weather science experiments. I'm gonna show you rainbow rain falling through water. I'm gonna show you anti-gravity Coca-Cola bottle. Power science, it will stay in the cup. How many drops of water can I fit on this quarter before it just spills off. Let's get to the video guys. For the first experiment, I have a container of water right here and I'm just gonna put some shaving cream on top. The shaving cream is gonna resemble the cloud and then we're gonna put food coloring on top of the shaving cream and that's gonna resemble the rain and it's gonna look so cool as it falls through, through the shaving cream. Just like regular rain falls through the clouds when it gets too heavy. So let's fill this up with shaving cream. I've never done this before, so I, just, I hope it's gonna work right. I, I hope I didn't put too much or too little. And now we just drop in some drops of food coloring. So I have four colors of food coloring right here. Some blue. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to start falling through, but when it does, you'll see when it does. Maybe I have to saturate it a little bit more, add some more drops all over. It's like a, making an ice cream cone. This looks delicious, actually. <laughs> Nothing like some good old shaving cream and water on a hot summer day and food coloring, right? All right, so now it's just a waiting game. So we just have to wait for it to fall through the shaving cream, just like you do on a rainy day when the rain gets too full for the clouds to hold the rain just drops. So that's what's gonna happen here with the food coloring. I sorta of could help it along by adding some more food coloring so that it could get really, really wet in there and start dripping through. See, cause if there's not enough rain in clouds, it won't fall through, it won't be heavy enough. And if, the, oh, it's starting to come. Wow, nice, right? It's just falling through because it got too heavy. So the green and now the blue, wow, that looks so good. That looks really good. We need to get some red in here. The red should be coming through any second. Wow, it's like explosions of color. The red is about to come through now. Oh, now it's coming through. Look how cool that looks. ice cream rainbow explosion. Let me turn it so you guys can see all the different colors here. That's so cool when I turn, look at that, I'm turning it. Do you guys see that? I'm turning this, but the colors are not turning. Look, how is that happening? Did we just discover something right here? That is crazy, guys. Let's say, can I like untwist it? That was crazy cool. That was really cool. The colors did not did not mix. The colors didn't change as I was turning it. How that how did that happen? How is that possible? Somebody comment below. Let me know how that's possible. Our ice cream sundae rainstorm. All right, guys. For the next experiment, I have some coins. I have a penny, nickel, quarter, and dime, and I have a syringe filled with water. Now, for this experiment, I want you to guess how many drops of water. Can I fit on this quarter before it just spills off? What would you say? 10, 20, 25? Watch. Go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. About 20. About 30. 40. About 80 drops on the quarter. Oh, almost. 
We almost had 100, guys, but so cool. That's how many drops you could balance on a quarter. You could do the same thing on a dime. Let's try the dime, nickel, and penny right now. Let's see if we can balance on there as well. Yes, you can. So awesome. So look how high that's going. Look how high that is. Look at that. It's just like a blob on top. It's just, oh, wow. That, that must be higher than the quarter almost. Here's a nickel right here. When you're running out of water in the syringe, it's just holding so much water. And the penny. We're gonna run out of water on the penny. Oh, we killed the penny. All right, that is that experiment. So cool. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. And now a classic. All right, this definitely makes for a rainy day experiment because if you're not wet from outside, you can get wet indoors or at least trick someone into thinking they're gonna get wet. Take a cup of water and you take a card. And with the power of science, it will stay in the cup. No tricks, just a card and a cup of water. Place it on top. Make sure your hand is firmly on top and tip it over. Now, if all goes right, when I let go, this card should stay connected to the cup. I don't have a safety net or anything, so I'm really hoping this is gonna work. So I do not wanna clean this all up. And it stayed, thank goodness. Woo! That was scary. I did not want to clean that up. In hindsight, I should have put a bucket underneath me. There is no bucket here. So, power of science worked, saved me there, and you can do it too. Just make sure it's firmly on and you, as you flip it over, and it will work. Last but not least, for another cool sunny, sunny day, rainy day experiment, we're involving water, we're involving being stuck indoors, wanting to do something with water, or you could be outdoors and do this. Take a glass bottle. Now, you know the net that fruits come in? So you wanna take it and put it on top. I prepared this already. So get come prepared. Put it on top of the bottle and take a rubber band and tie it around it. Just put it around it so that you have a net on top over there. So, then fill the bottle with water. You see this water here. No tricks, no gimmicks, and something even cooler than this one. Because with this one, I needed a card to keep the water in. But with this one, check it out. See, water in here, just the net, which means there are holes in here. See, I could stick a toothpick through it. Whoops. I could stick a toothpick. Water can spill out, as you just saw. Now watch. I'm gonna take my hand away, and the water should not fall out. It's falling out. All right, let's try this again, and we got better lighting in the process too. Bucket underneath me this time. Here is the bottle, halfway filled with water, right? Spilling it, turning it upside down, spilling it out, and it should stay in. It should stay in the bottle. Well, some water stayed in. Some of the water is still in there, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but some of it is still in there and I could stick a toothpick up in there. And now the rest comes falling out. How cool is that? Just with a net. So you'll have some water coming out, but then when it stops, you'll have like a good half of the bottle or a little bit less of water in there and you could just walk around seeing seemingly anti-gravity water. Those are my experiments for today. I hope you guys have a sunny day. It was raining here in New York all day, so it made me think of doing some water experiments, some experiments that, if you're wet already anyway, you won't mind just getting wet. You could do this, this outdoors, and the one with the cloud was so cool. I was surprised how it didn't change colors as I spun it. Thank you so much for watching. New videos every day at 4 p.m. I made a bunch of orders today, behind the scenes, off camera, for Stay Incredible merchandise. I'm getting such cool stuff. Tomorrow, what I would like to do, and I wanted to do today, but it was a little, well, the weather wasn't cooperating. I am going to take, I'm right here. I am going to take these spinners that everybody's addicted to, 
and I wanna hydro dip it in spray paint. So stay tuned for that video. I'll make custom made spinners and I will be giving a lot of these away in the coming weeks. So definitely subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out the vlog channel for all the behind the scenes and lots of other stuff. That is it for today, guys. Stay incredible. I will see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Click notifications, don't forget that. See ya.